Let's start with what is TestNG. TestNG is an open source test automation framework for Java. It is developed on the same lines as JUnit and InUnit. A few advanced and useful features provided by TestNG make it a more robust framework than its peers. The NG in TestNG stands for Next Generation. Created by Cedric Bust, it is used more frequently by developers and testers in test case creation owing to its ease of using multiple annotations, grouping, dependence, prioritization, and parametrization features. What is TestNG in Selenium? TestNG provides advanced features such as annotations, data-driven testing, test sequencing, and parallel testing to help you organize and execute your Selenium tests more efficiently and effectively. Some of the benefits of using TestNG in Selenium. Group test cases into logical units, making managing and maintaining your test suite easier. Run tests in parallel, significantly reducing the time it takes to execute your test suite. TestNG provides a wide range of annotations that you can use to customize your tests, such as at before suite, at after suite, at before test, at after test, at before method, and at after method. It supports data-driven testing, allowing you to run the same test case with multiple test data sets. Better reporting and logging features than other testing frameworks make identifying and debugging issues in your tests easier. Hence, TestNG framework in Selenium can improve the efficiency and effectiveness of your test automation efforts. Advantages of TestNG over JUnit TestNG is a more flexible, powerful, and feature-rich testing framework than JUnit, making it a better choice for complex and large test automation projects. Here are the advantages of TestNG over JUnit. Flexible test configuration and execution options. For example, TestNG allows you to configure tests to run in parallel, run tests in a specific order, and run tests with different data sets. It supports powerful features such as test grouping, prioritization, and test dependencies, which are unavailable in JUnit. In TestNG, you can use the data provider annotation to pass data to a test method, while JUnit requires you to write custom code to handle data-driven testing. TestNG generates HTML reports with detailed information about test execution, including test results, failures, and errors. JUnit, on the other hand, generates simple text-based reports. Supports more advanced annotations such as at before suite, at after suite, at before test, at after test, at before groups, at after groups, at before class, and at after class, which allow you to configure test execution at different levels of granularity. Why use TestNG with Selenium? One of the drawbacks of Selenium is that it does not have a proper format for the test results. By using the TestNG framework in Selenium, you can generate the report in a proper format, include the number of test cases run, tests passed, failed, and skipped in the report, group test cases by converting them to testing.xml, use invocation count and execute multiple tests without using loops, perform cross-browser testing, easily understand annotations, installing and setting up TestNG. It's pretty easy to install TestNG. If you are using Eclipse IDE, it comes as a plugin. Below are the steps to install TestNG. Install Eclipse IDE from the Eclipse website. It serves as a platform for you to code on and write your test cases. Once installed, go to help and navigate to the Eclipse marketplace. The reference snapshot is below. Click on Eclipse marketplace you will be directed to the marketplace modal. Type TestNG in the search keyword and hit go. The reference snapshot is below. If TestNG is not installed in your Eclipse, rather than the installed button you would see install, click on install and your TestNG framework will be installed in your Eclipse. As a good practice, Eclipse would recommend you to restart to use the features of the installed plugin. Post restarting your Eclipse, Reverify whether you can see options for creating a TestNG class or not as below. TestNG Annotations An annotation tag provides information about the method, class, and suite. 
It helps to define the execution approach of your test cases and the different features associated with it. Below are the major annotations used. At test, this is the root of test ng test cases. To use test ng, all methods should be annotated with this annotation. Below is an example. At test, public void setup test ng. System dot out print mon. This is a test annotation method. Must read test ng annotations in Selenium WebDriver with examples. A few attributes associated with the test ng annotation are description. You can describe your test case under the description, stating what it does. At test, description equals this test validates login functionality. Priority. You can prioritize the order of your test methods in test ng by defining a priority. Based on the defined priority, the test shall execute in that order. At test, priority equals one. Depends on method. This attribute works miracles if one test case is dependent on another. For example, to view your profile details, you need to log in to the application. So your profile test case is dependent on the login test case. At test, depends on method equals login. Enabled. Using this attribute, you can choose to execute or skip the execution of this test case. Setting it to true execute it and putting it to false will skip the test from the execution cycle. At test, enabled equals true. Groups. Using this attribute, you can club your test cases into a single group and specify the group you wish to execute in your test ng XML file. The test cases clubbed to that group will only be executed and the rest will be skipped. At test, groups equals smoke suite. While the above ones should help you get started, other major annotations are at before method and at after method. These annotations run before and after each test method. At before class and at after class, these annotations run once before and after the first at test method in a class. At before test and at after test, the before test annotation runs before the at before class annotation and the after test annotation runs after the at after class annotation. At before suite and at after suite, these annotations run before and after any test annotated method in a class respectively. These annotations start the beginning of a test and the end of it for all the classes in a suite. Talking about the execution order of these annotations, they execute in the below order. At before suite dash, at before test dash, at before class dash, at before method dash, at test dash, at after method dash, at after class dash, at after C test dash, at after suite. Note. The key point to remember is apart from at before method and at after method, all other annotations run only once, whereas the at before method and at after method run post every at test method. Let's learn about test ng assertion using example. Test ng provides a set of assertion methods that you can use to validate the expected behavior of your test cases. Here are some commonly used test ng assertions along with code examples and explanations. Assert equals expected actual verifies that two values are equal. If the values are not equal, the test fails. Code assert assert equals hello, hello, forward slash, forward slash passes. Assert assert equals five, ten, forward slash, forward slash fails. 2. Assert not equals expected actual verifies that two values are not equal. If the values are equal, the test fails. Code assert assert not equals 5, 10, forward slash, forward slash passes. Assert assert not equals hello, hello, forward slash, forward slash fails. 3. Assert true condition. Verifies that a condition is true. If the condition is false, the test fails. Code. Assert. Assert true. 5 greater than 2. Forward slash forward slash passes. Assert. Assert true. 5 less than 2. Forward slash forward slash fails. 4. Assert false. Condition. Verifies that a condition is false. 
If the condition is true, the test fails. Code. Assert. Assert false. Five less than two. Forward slash forward slash passes. Assert. Assert false. Five greater than two. Forward slash forward slash fails. Five. Assert null. Object. Verifies that an object is null. If the object is not null, the test fails. Code. Object obj equals null. Assert. Assert null. Obj. Forward slash forward slash passes. 6. Assert not null. Object. Verifies that an object is not null. If the object is null, the test fails. Code. Object obj equals new object. Assert. Assert not null. Obj. Forward slash forward slash passes. 7. Assert same. Expected. Actual. Verifies that two objects reference the same object. If the objects do not reference the same object, the test fails. Code. Object obj1 equals new object. Object obj2 equals obj1. Assert. Assert same. Obj1. Obj2. Forward slash forward slash passes. These assertions help ensure that your test cases produce the expected results and provide feedback when they don't, aiding in the debugging process. 8. Assert not same, expected, actual. Verifies that two objects do not reference the same object. If the objects reference the same object, the test fails. Code. Object obj1 equals new object. Object obj2 equals new object. Assert. Assert not same. Obj1. Obj2. Forward slash forward slash passes. These assertions help ensure that your test cases produce the expected results and provide feedback when they don't, aiding in the debugging process. An important part to note in assertions is that your tests will not execute to the next line of code if your assertions failed. It will automatically jump to the next test annotated method. Now, let us try to validate our code snippet below using assertions. In the snippet above, in the at after class method, we will be verifying the current URL we are on and the expected URL, which should be the signup page. At after method, public void post signup. Assert. Assert equals driver. Get current URL. HTTPS colon slash slash www browserstack.com slash users slash sign underscore up. 